Hello Tokusatsu community and hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans. Today, we have something very special. As you can see, handle with care, fragile, thank you. What could it possibly be? Well, to be honest with you, I don't even really know. Well, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, I featured Hernandez Corey on the Lightning Strike of the Week on Lightning Storm. He's a guy who has done some really, really pretty Lightning Collection custom figures. He hit me up on Twitter about a week or so ago and said he wanted to send me a figure, a custom figure from my lightning collection, but I actually don't know what figure he sent me. I have no idea. So you are going to be finding out just as I am here. So let's open this up. I see a figure in there. Bubble wrap. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh. Whoa, look at that. It's the it's the classic blast effect piece done up in really dark red. Ooh. Okay, that's really cool. Let's see who it is. Whoa! Hold up. Wow. Gotta be very careful here. Not to damage it. Wow, do you see this? You see who that is? Wow. Check this out. Whoa! It's Lu Ranger from Die Ranger as a lightning figure. Wow, that. Okay, well, we gotta take it out of the bag, obviously. Whoa, check that out. That looks really good. You have the symbol on his chest and everything. The helmet turned out like super nice. Wow. Painted Saba, which is pretty neat. I mean, obviously the Ranger didn't use a Saba, but like still. Oh, this might be a reference. Uh, I think this is a reference to the Lucky Draw, or it might be. There was a Lucky Draw Red Saba that came out during... Well, actually, what was it called in, uh, in Die Ranger? Uh, I, I the name escapes me. But there was a Lucky Draw Red version of this sword in the Die Ranger toy line. So that could be that could be a reference to that. But it looks like it's based off of... Or it's using Mighty Morphin White as a base mold. Which makes a lot of sense since that is a Die Ranger suit. But holy crap. I want to be like super careful with it, you know? I don't want to like, I don't know how well, I assume he can still do his full articulation, but I don't want to. Okay, so I see he doesn't, he didn't paint on like all of the hinges there, which is smart because you don't want the, the paint to chip and everything. Which I don't see it chipping or anything like that, so, which is good. I just want to be very careful with it. But Re-Ranger is probably a Ranger we are never going to get in the Lightning Collection, so I, uh, really appreciate this thank you so much Corey. i really really like this is awesome like how did you do the helmet because that looks really good did you like because yeah that's that's pretty darn good right there that looks fantastic let's put him on you can move that out of the way let's put him on a hasbro pole stand here so it looks like he didn't paint the the peg holes so it should be able to go in here just fine without damaging things, hopefully. Still want to be very careful with it because you know it is a custom piece. Don't want to be too, uh, you know, rough with it. But let's see what we got in here. So, is there something in here? Ooh. Ah, it's a rocky head. <laughs> well, it's their attempt at a rocky head from wave four. So that's cool. So I get you, I get you. So, you know, if Rocky became, you know, if he went from the Mighty Morphin suits, the Jew Ranger suits, to the Die Ranger suits, he would, uh, he would probably be a Jew Ranger based on that logic. So, okay, I see where you're, where you're coming from there. And then we have, how did you do this? Did you just paint this? Or did you, I'm trying to figure out how that was done. Because I feel like this would be really difficult to paint. Can't see... I don't see like any of the original blue. So did he dye this? Cause I know you can like dye plastic. I'm not sure exactly how he did it, but 
I like having it in this brand new, like dark, dark red color. That's really, really cool. So yeah, check that out. That looks fantastic. <laughs> like you wouldn't know from a distance if that was, you know, a, you know, an official one or if it was a fan custom. That's how good it is. <laughs> so like the line is very nicely, oops, don't come off the stand, please. The line is very nicely like, well, it's not straight here because I have the joint moved a little bit, but it is like painted nice and straight. You have the Dire Ranger badge looking really cool, which is that a 3D printed piece? It might be. I think it is. But yeah, that's cool. And you got the red Saba. And uh, looks like Rear Ranger to me. I <laughs> can't deny that. So. So Corey wanted me to make sure that I shouted out Tim Bree 3D on Instagram. He's the one who 3D printed the pieces that Corey needed to make this custom happen, like the Rear Ranger helmet and the little Die Ranger symbol on the chest there. So huge, huge shout out to them for making it happen and then Corey putting it together because wow, it really, really turned out nice. Here he is with the Red Saba, or as I like to call it, the Lucky Draw Saba which looks really, really awesome. So this is actually the hand that was from this Rear Ranger custom. I gave him Time Force Red's hand because I didn't want to risk chipping the paints on the custom hand there. So, but that works just, that works just fine. So <laughs> that looks fantastic. And then of course you can take the red blast effect piece that uh, I did confirm with Corey. He actually did dye the, uh, the red plastic effect piece red there. So that is not painted. That is a blue one dyed red. So that, too, that turned out pretty, pretty good in my opinion. But wow, this is just, this is just amazing. So here he is next to the official Lightning Collection MMPR Red. So, you know, you got G-Ranger and Die Ranger here. Or kind of a what if season one, season two. So, yeah, <laughs> like, they, it looks legit. It really looks legit. Dude, thank you so much for being, for wanting to send this to me. I really appreciate it. You will be seeing it in the background of Toku Topics videos to come. I'll put it right up there on the lightning display where you can all see it, so. Also, let me know if that is a actual reference to the Lucky Draw version, uh, Lucky Draw promotional uh, Saba, because it looks a lot like it. I don't, it might not match perfectly, but the red color is just what makes me think of that, so if that is what you were going for, I, I, I'm interested. But uh, yeah, so. For the most part, it seems like you can I can use all of his articulation and not have to really worry about it shipping paint or anything. Although I will be worried about putting the you know weapon in his hand. Although I could probably swap the hand for another red hand uh, from the Time Force Red has red hands. Beast Morphers Red has red hands, so I can get hands from other people, other places. So yeah, man, this is really really well done. He's done, I believe he's done the whole Die Ranger team. I've seen them on Twitter, so you know. Uh, but Shishi Ranger, Tema Ranger, Hoho -Ho Ranger, Kirin Ranger, and they all look fantastic. So, dude, thank you so much for sending me Ryu Ranger. I figure that I would love to see, or actually, actually, who? What is this team called here? The Legendary Squadron. Is that what we called them in <laughs> Super Mega Force? Um, I would love to see official lightning collection figures of those, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. But for now, and maybe forever, this will be a perfect substitute into the line. So, I will be linking to his Twitter, of course, down in the description. And I've said it many times, but dude, thank you so much for wanting to send this to me. I, I, <laughs> I'm really honored. Thank you. This is awesome. And uh, that's all I really have for today. So be sure to follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or at Lightning Fig PR. I'll see you all next time. And Tokusatsu forever. Thank you, Corey.